Hello guys, uh, today I will be quickly demonstrating uh, the improvements that I've been doing on the road generator, generator right? This is version 1.1 and this is version 2 which is upcoming, right? And both versions are working really well for flat surfaces, right? For example, we can go here, keep modeling and everything works well just as we expect all right we can de do quick roads like that but this system is based on curves right and uh, is working well for flat surfaces but and this guy for the reasons of that I it's hard to explain here for the reasons of the things everything to everything works well I can't for example move this guy this guy is locked all the way down the only way I can move is kind of an edit mode so I can move it and then I we have the lanes that goes off but that can be fixed quickly it's just a matter of the proximity of the lane with the the, the road okay but still it works like that but because it's a curve I can for example make these turns like easily unless I can try to use the curve handles but you know those are not gonna be that handy here because the way I built the tool for some reason for the reasons of making the proportions of uh, the, the cross intersections uh, keep it straight so I just I don't have the possibilities of moving this with handles for example if I change this to this here still still the same it doesn't work okay so the only way I can do is kind of go here right and go adjusting the curves as it is and you see we may hit some point that we will start to have some issues on the on the lanes because the curve right now is like that you see so not that handy the only way you could fix that and make it more rounded would be like subdividing this so subdividing this and keeps going right that's why I changed the whole approach to mesh right because using the mesh using a mesh I still can model the same way as before you see still model the same way however in order to do this I think it's easier if I want it why because I have the features of um, mesh modeling which will make my life easier like for it for example for here for me to do this uh, curve here I would go basically on control pressing control right and just pressing the mouse button that will make my life even easier if I think this is to rush I can press uh, control B and make it smoother right control B make it smoother this guy right keep just in See it like that, right? Can I think somehow poly is easier to control the mesh than the curve because you have your entire mesh easy to control, right? It's easier to deal with. That's one of the things. And this guy, you do it's not locked, 
you don't need to go to edit mode you can go here and move it anywhere and the lens will follow right not like here where you have to go to edit modes and you still have some issues with your lens like it's just easy to fix but still annoying right the main problem is the new tool which is the t-rain projection right let's put it more here right now if I go here and I press t-rain projection on it seems that everything works well but we have the terrain like bumpy very bumpy and the road tries to follow it so it basically tries to follow and it makes it even hard for the lanes that to catch up and you will lose the textures everywhere you will have some gaps everywhere unless you go to your scoopit mode on your terrain and then you start to smooth it out the areas which the road will go so and all of those all of this uh, it takes your time right it takes a time to do and I'm doing this not just for sales I'm doing this to use myself on my projects so I need to have this working as it's supposed to be as I imagine as I wonder I want to be fast I want to be quick I want everything to work well right at the beginning so right now using this version that will be available soon I hope this week you can project that on this terrain and the other thing in this terrain right now is here inside this collection right it's following this I don't know if you try to scatter stuff in here I don't know if that works well because you have all those gaps and everything okay however this one this one works as I expect if I go if I project that on the terrain like it goes on the terrain okay but this is a bit different from the version 1 because as soon as you project this into your terrain you can hide the ref layer okay because right now your terrain is here ready for scatter so if you have some scatter you can just throw your geometry nodes here and scatter as you want okay the big difference here is because right now we have the projection more like happen in real life because in real life the constructors and everyone has to adapt the terrain to the roads the roads shouldn't be bumpy like this right it shouldn't be like this it sh we should adapt the terrain to the road so now it doesn't matter how our terrain is it will just be adapt and the road will be fine and smooth as you can see right here like it is in real life okay if we go to render we will see how smooth it is you see it's perfect it's perfect there is no issue you can't tell like that is that isn't a real road and we have the complement coming from the sidewalk still everything is to work like the divisions if you want to put the divisions the divisions will be there right make everything even more realistic however if we go to version 2 look at this you see that for me it's useless at this point unless I smooth out the terrain which I can do here as well and will be even better okay but right now the difference is huge 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 from version 1.2 to version or for one version 1.1 and version 1.2 and that's the main that's the main change and I think you guys are gonna like that and we will be able to do more and more things uh, just using these two and go as I'm going improving uh, you can combine that with easy cars generator and project the line here I'm gonna show you in a different video how to do that 
well that's it i hope you guys like it and stay tuned for the release that will go like this week anytime bye